Grappling is one of those things that players always want to do, but when it comes down to actually doing it, it takes way too long to figure out. But grappling's actually really easy. To start, make sure that whoever you want to actually grapple is no more than one size larger than you. So you, usually being a medium creature, can grapple creatures starting at large and going all the way down to tiny. Also, some creatures are immune to being grappled, so be prepared for that. Grappling is a special combat action. To grapple someone, use the attack action on your turn. If you have multiple attacks, this replaces one of those attacks. Now for the actual grapple check. Make sure you have at least one free hand to do this. For the grappler, make a strength athletics check. For the target being grappled, they make their choice of a strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check to avoid the grapple. And whoever has the higher number wins. It's just that easy. But what does grappled actually mean for the grappled target? All this information comes from Appendix A of the Player's Handbook, it's page 290, under the Conditions section. A grappled creature's speed becomes zero and gains no benefits from its speed or any modifiers to its speed. The grappled condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. It also ends if the grappled target is forcefully moved from the grappler's reach via a spell effect or any other effect that would move it. The Player's Handbook gives example of Thunder Wave for a spell. As far as Ra is concerned, the only thing a grappled creature cannot do is move away from the grappler, so attacking and casting spells is okay to do as long as you're grappled, and as long as your dungeon master says so first. To escape a grapple, the grappled target can use its action to perform their choice of a strength, athletics, or a dexterity acrobatics check against the grappler's strength check. You can drag a grappled creature when you move, though your speed will be halved unless the creature is two or more sizes smaller than you. Some monsters have their own special grappling abilities, like the Shambling Mound, automatically grappling its target on a successful hit, as well as its own escape DC, rather than contesting ability checks. And there you go. Grappling is super easy, and most people never try it out in their games, so why don't you? My name is Rafael Trevino, and this has been Tabletop Quill. Make sure you subscribe for more content and helpful tips and reminders like this one. And make sure you like this video and tell your friends who need a few reminders themselves. Thank you for watching, and happy delving, everybody.